Hello guys, welcome to my uh, channel, Moon Goddess 555 Owl Tarot. This reading is for the collective. This message may not resonate with everybody. So if this message does not resonate with you, please leave it at the table for the next person. I am going to start uh, with some sacral power of a Quebec and some uh, starseed oracle and then we're gonna do some clarifier tarot and see what messages spirit has for you like holy spirit divine source of the universe what messages do you have for the collective are shamans working with animals I see an eagle a deer wolf owl and the bear so some of you are very intuitive uh, have the animal spirit within you sacred wisdom like I said owl very intuitive exploration so then uh, some of you have been getting to uh, go in your um, soul path your evolution uh, you know everything is like it seems let's see lightning um, Affirmations. <clears throat> so send me a deck, so I'm gonna look up into the book a little bit when it comes to these cards. All right, two more cards, please. Holy Spirit. Some of you guys have to cleanse, purify your environment, energy balance, clear your chakras. All right, guys, let's see what's going on. Down the red source, pray, connect with your spirit, guys. All right, guys, All right. let's take a look here, real quick. Animal kingdom. What does it say about the animal kingdom? <clears throat> All right, it says keep it simple, stay focused, and listen to your instincts. All right, guys, so we do have the bear, hibernation, strengths, and confidence. Challenge your head. The wolf, seeing the truth, be cautious, follow your intuitions. The owl, higher wisdom, observation, dreaming, and transition. The deer, family, gentleness, unconditional love, and speed. And the eagle, perspective, go to the source, and patience. So like I said, some of you might be shamans, have the animal spirit with you. Um, <clears throat> so, yes, um, keep it simple, stay focused, and listen to your instincts. At this time, is very important. Um, sacred wisdom, the owl. It says, think carefully, consider other options in your life transitions. Um, it has an affirmation for you. It says, I honor the divine God and goddess within me. I accept and embrace the love and power it offers me now and always. So yeah, ours are very, uh, 
deep and encourage you to connect with your inner vision, visionary, um, the protector of knowledge, uh, and they're uh, very uh, wise. So if you have the owl and the spirit animal, you're very, um, very wise person. So listen to your intuition um, and accept and embrace and the love and the power that, that are within you, the goddess within you. So listen to your vision uh, and follow that power in your journey. Exploration. Let's find out what that is. Explore new territory, create your own path with purpose. Again, I am brave and courage, and I'm playing a new path with ease and security. So this card is um, <coughs> is um, it is it's telling you to go explore your new path. You know, uh, it has a compass here, and I'm very um, drawn to it. So it's kind of like. Go explore your new your journey, you know, explore new territory and uh, create your own path with purpose, you know, um, some of you on your life journey and uh, you might not see the path clear like I see with this illusion part. I'm going to read a little bit about that one. Um, Yes, the illusion card says, appearance are not what they seem. You need more information. Yes, again, it says, I hear the messages with strength and clarity from my soul. My soul knows the way forward. I trust my inner guidance. Yes, some of you guys need to listen to um, your higher self. You know, your heart knows the way. So when things not seem clear to you, just trust that your heart knows the way. Your heart knows where to go. So... Sometimes you just have to go deep within and trust that your heart, your your higher self knows the way. So I always trust your intuition above all. Even when you're listening to messages like this one, for example, um, collective messages, I always know that every message out there might have a message for you, but you know deep in your soul which message are for you which messages are connecting with you so i was searching intuition above all lightning this card is so beautiful let's see what lightning has to say it says sudden changes and challenges ahead be cautious so this is like the tower card in this deck it says, I am ready to take action now. The power of love set my soul free as I go with gratitude. So it's just like accept the challenges that's coming ahead, but be cautious, you know. Um, and set your affirmations, you know. Again, what is this is uh, the card is about? Just set your affirmations, embrace these challenges, and set your affirmations, you know. Um, this card affirmation says... Powerful intentions manifest now. Be positive. Exactly. Um, so set your intentions so you can manifest them. You know, be positive. Um, so set some positive affirmations every day, you know, so you can manifest. Some of you guys are in a very higher vibration at these points, and you guys are manifesting your future. So make sure that you have powerful affirmations every day. Have a, um, some type of routine every day where you are you know clearing your energies clearing your chakras meditating every day set up some type of affirmation routine i don't know when you are in the bathroom in the shower you know set some affirmations every day to yourself when you're looking yourself in the mirror getting ready for the day you know set some affirmations to yourself some positive affirmations will help along the way set those intentions to the universe so that you never know exactly what you're manifesting what you want in life it says, I am the light divine, and I am real, and I am fixed design. Exactly. So, create your intentions, guys. Manifest your desires. Purification. I feel like some of you guys need to clear your space. Purify. Go near water. 
but let's see what the card says about purification. Cleanse your environment, it's personal space, exactly. I purify my soul. I release burdens and expectations of choices. I am free to make my own decisions with love and confidence. Exactly. Some of you guys have to, you know, cleanse your environment, uh, personal space, you know, save your space, guys. Uh, uh, cleanse your area and cleanse your negative energy from your space, you know. Um, purify your soul, go near water. If you've been called to go near the ocean, near water, near a lake, go ahead and do that. You know, if your soul calling you near water, do that. Um, maybe it's something that is going to heal you. Um, if you don't have near water, just uh, take a bath, a little spiritual bath. You know, um, some of you guys just need to cleanse your energy. You know, I feel like some of you guys have been called to go into water. So, um, purify your soul you know release those negative energies and cleanse your yourself um, you know becomes this become a love and confidence at this time energy balance you know so you guys need to um, get um, your chakras balance so the energy balance card says Physical health needs attention. Balance your mind, body, and spirit. Exactly. Um, it says, um, this talks about uh, seven chakra balance, guys. So your um, your crown chakra, your third eye, your throat, your heart, your solar plexus, your sacral, and your base, your, um, your, your root chakra. So um, I feel like some of you guys need some type of uh, yoga, meditation, some type of chakra clearing, um, ritual, or some type of uh, energy balance to get you guys um, balanced here because um, this is what uh, Spirit is telling you guys to do, get um, your energy balance and you guys are very imbalanced at this time. Is what do I see here and with source I feel like your spirit guides are telling you to connect with them some of you guys are being called to connect with the source connect to whatever you connect with whatever is your connected to spirit is it either uh, your ancestors your spirit guides God angels whatever you believe in uh, I'm not judgy here um, I'm very open-minded so yeah, whatever you believe in, um, connect with the source, okay? Pray, pray every day, um, set your intentions to the universe, um, connect with source, okay? You see how all these angels and doves and the light is shining through this, your, um, your spirit guys want you to connect with them, okay? Uh, and on the bottom of that card, it says retreat, you know, isolate, um, connect with yourself with your higher self um, some of you guys need to to connect with your source I want to read a little bit about the source card here as well just to make sure yes yeah, surrender fear with the power of prayer miracles can happen now from the light of God that I am, clear in my open ways to divine miracles. I surrender my heart to 100% pure life consciousness. I embrace the divine world through love and faith. Exactly. Just surrender your problems to the divine, okay? They're taking care of you at this time, okay? Connect with spirit. That's what they want you to do. Any problems you have at this time, just surrender to the divine, okay? Everything happened in the divine timing. Whatever is out of your control, just surrender to the divine, okay? That's what I see here. All right, guys. Let me pull up a star seed oracle.
lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything on our line must go. All right, guys. So I feel like uh, some of you need to let go of things that are no longer serving you at this time. All right, I'm gonna read a little bit about that card from the book here. Things aren't always as they seem. This era is one of the uncovering mysteries so that we can remember ancient truth. Everything is in a state of recall and realignment. Anything that isn't in harmony with the planet will not survive. This goes for society and the world at large as well as its own, own life. If you pull this card, you're being called to energe energetically scan your life for things that may no longer be a vibrational match for who you are and how you're grown. To dismantle the system and ways of being that once serve you as others but no longer do. Some star seeds are here to lift the veil between the seen and the unseen worlds. To shine the light on things that are unadjetic on aligned with the survival of the world being on earth. To stand for the or protect those who doesn't have a voice. To look deeper and question everything that previous generations did not. Some star seeds cannot tolerate things that aren't congruent. They are to here to bring society and humanity back into harmony with the planet and the creator at large. If we tolerate things in our life that aren't aligned and congruent with it, we add to the misalignment of the planet. You are being called to trust yourself, notice what's out of alignment, and then take baby steps required to bring it back into harmony. This is not easy feat, but it's so worthwhile, both individually and for the planet. What is incongruent in your life? How are you being called to bring it into back into harmony? Those are very nice questions to ask yourselves, guys. So that's a star seed oracle. Um I am gonna pull up a divine feminine divine feminine um oracle card because I've been feeling like I've been guided to Pull up a card from the Divine Feminine, just one of you are feeling like you need to call up on one of these ladies for guidance at this time. I wish Divine Feminine, just your collective, can call up on at this time for help. All right, that's the same Bridget. O lady of the heart to light, I give and endlessly. I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. Saint Bridget, you can call it Saint Bridget, O lady of of the light. She gives end endlessly because the light is without end, and my soul is all I need. Sarada Devi, the Divine Mother, unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. You can call on her for unconditional love. Akahilanda, the goddess of the never not broken. Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. You can call on her. The goddess of never not broken. So when you feel like you are broken, um, so there you have it guys there's the three ladies you can call up on uh, if you feel lost what um, can you feel me when I will be back for the collective at this time what can the collective what's coming to the collective for this time Nothing will come out of this situation. We'll come through the moon or something. Communication is the key. New moon in Gemini. So if there's something bothering you guys, just know that nothing will come out of the situation. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. If you make, if you didn't need a Gemini, 
Another one is Dead in Stone, Mutual uh, Moon. All right, guys. Let's see what learning, what li um, lessons. What lessons? <clears throat> it's a collective learning in this time. I got this one, it's the collective learning in this time. Health. I will honor the physical vessel that envision my soul. Guilt. I release any belief that no longer I sit within my soul group. Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Anything else? Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Beautiful guys. That's all I have for you guys. Please make sure to connect with your three guys. They do want to connect with you. Um, connect with your spirit animals. They stay connected with your wisdom. Embark in that journey you've been waiting for. Remember when things seem unclear, connect with your higher self. Uh, do your affirmations every day. Purify yourself. Clean your space. Um, Clear your energy. It might be on balance. Call upon this lady if you need help. Uh, let go of things that does not align with you at this time. And do not be afraid to choose love above all. And that's what I have for you guys. Have a good day. And I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.